Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to explain all the details of robotic arm assisted knee replacement surgery. So today we're talking about robotic arm assisted knee replacement surgery. So we're going to discuss some of the details of what exactly this means and how it is performed. So when we talk about robotic arm assisted surgery, we're talking about the Striker Mako robot, which is a machine that is connected with computer software that is used for knee replacement surgeries. So really it is called a robotic surgery by some people, but it's really a robotic arm assisted surgery. So it's, it's really using this machine and the computer software to assist the surgeon with the knee replacement surgery. So here's some of the details and some of the steps. So first, before your surgery, you're going to have a CT scan or a CAT scan performed of your knee. And what this does, it, a CT scan is basically multiple x-rays and it allows the computer and the software to create a 3D image of the anatomy of your knee joint. And that image is used to create a map of your knee and it creates a surgical plan or the surgical parameters for the actual knee replacement surgery. And so all this information is on this software and it's in the commute computer and the computer and the software of course is communicating with the robotic arm and the surgeon can look at all this information on the computer screen. And so then with this detailed map of your knee and the anatomy of your knee and this surgical plan, then the surgeon has a plan of where to make the bony cuts for the knee replacement, as well as the parameters for the fit and size of your knee replacement components. So helps with accuracy and precision with both of these parts of the knee replacement surgery. Now, during the surgery, the surgeon will also have to do some different things to determine the fit of the soft tissue. So especially looking at the ligaments on the sides of your knees, so your collateral ligaments, and they do certain movements while working with the software and using the map, the 3D imaging, to create a good fit for the soft tissue as well. So that's something that happens during the actual surgery. So for the surgery itself, the surgeon's first step is they are going to, once they have you under anesthesia and you're positioned appropriately and everything's connected and ready to go, they're going to take these little devices and they're called arrays or basically they look like very tiny satellites and they essentially function as these very tightly, tiny satellites. And there's usually a couple of them that are put in different parts around your knee joint. And what this does is those arrays or little satellites give the computer software an image of your knee and the anatomy of the knee. And then what they can do is they can kind of mesh or bring together the 3D image from the CT scan and mesh that with the current image that's being portrayed by those, those arrays, and then the images are congruent, and this provides that roadmap for the surgeon to do the surgical cuts to the bone for putting the prosthesis into your knee and on the bone. So what happens now is there's these images that are on the computer screen that show the surgeon precisely where to make the cuts for the bony cuts for the knee replacement surgery. And this is done with the Mako robotic arm assisted knee, um, robotic arm assisted machine. And the surgeon will control the robotic arm, the handles with his hand, and he will control, he or she will control the robotic arm by themselves and are in control of it. Now the thing is though, is there's different parameters set up so that the surgeon can't cut outside of those parameters of where to make those bony cuts. So it's very interesting in that the surgeon has the control and is steering and moving the robotic arm themselves, but at the same time, they, if they go outside of those parameters, the machine won't let them make those cuts outside of those parameters. So this 
um, allows for the cuts to be very precise and very accurate and eliminate some of that human error with making those bony cuts with this knee replacement surgery. So once those cuts are made and um, are completed, then the rest of the surgery is pretty straightforward like a traditional surgery. So they'll then um, add the prosthetic components, put them on to the bone, attach them to the bone, either cemented or uncemented, and then they'll check the fit, make sure the ligaments and the soft tissue are fit well, and then they'll close everything up, and that will be that. That will be your knee replacement. So that's essentially what is meant by a robotic arm-assisted knee replacement surgery. The thing is the, the robot, so to speak, is not doing the whole surgery by itself. It's a, an assisted arm. So it's, it's setting up the parameters, setting up the plan for the surgery to help improve the precision and accuracy, but the surgeon themselves is still in control of that robotic arm and when cuts are made. So that's very um, important to keep in mind. So it's assisted, not a, the robot is not doing the entire surgery by itself. So there's a lot of discussion about the pros and cons of this. Um, is it better than traditional knee replacement surgery? Are the outcomes better? And there's a lot of discussion and a lot of research and studies out there still to determine the extent of this. And we'll talk about that more in some other videos. But Thank you very much for watching. This has been an explanation of robotic arm assisted knee replacement surgery. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you don't already and hit the notifications so you can watch all of our new videos, everything related to knee replacement surgery. Thank you very much for watching and take care.